Welcome to Journey Now, a podcast about following Jesus that takes on serious issues without ever taking itself too seriously. Each week, the pastors, staff, and friends of Journey Church in Brentwood, Tennessee, gather to catch up, share life together, and laugh a little. Okay, a lot. Maybe too much. But along the way, they also explore what it really means to bring heaven to earth, share Jesus' hospitality, and live cross-shaped lives. Part babble, part Bible, and occasionally even thoughtful and entertaining, this is Journey Now. Speaking of (laughs) consoles, councils. There was the console of Nicaea. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and then everybody yes. we just we just were talking before this. Uh, yeah, hello, oh, good morning, oh. and good evening, and good afternoon. <laughs> but um, you... Kevin, Kevin hey, called. Hey, wait, I get to say. Well, that's great. Yeah, please. Welcome you... to another Journey Now yes. podcast. Yes, yes. Now you can interrupt me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> so you were please. talking about how you're. And you're, normally the interruption you're... comes from here. Yeah, no, it's just bald, yeah. bald people. Do well, it. let's get it right. Yeah. Um, you're uh-huh. talking about how your grandparents <laughs> were the first people in America to get a color TV. <laughs> no, yes. it was a black, a black and, and white, white TV. TV. They brought no, one. we had a black and white TV. He's they old enough. They were the first one in the family to get a color TV. He's old enough to have a black and white TV. And Susie Hold said, me. so was there wood around it? And Kevin said, yes, there's a, it's called a... <laughs> a council. A council. And I said, uh, come again? I Maybe I didn't yeah. hear council. that with my yeah. ears. Yeah. Because I was swimming. You were. Council. It's yeah. a box. Council. Yeah, it's a wood box. So it's a counselor. Yeah. That's, Speaking of swimming, it was a counselor. Speaking of swimming, what kept is me that alive. device yeah. on yes. the table? Yes. It gave me great advice. Well, <laughs> it raised me. <laughs> um, no, there's nothing like ADD. And um, <laughs> hold on a second. If you've ever, I just oh, if you've ever seen Here we uh, like a, an eagle in its natural habitat, or you've been in a in a like national park and you've seen like yes. bison or elk or whatever. Yes. And you just recently ha- and actually you stop. Yeah. Yes. And you just you just take it in it like it's the whole tableau. It's not just well, like a whole ca- the council. It, the, the whole council. council. <laughs> yeah. Tableau. I saw well, a, tableau. a very similar thing <laughs> oh, this today. morning. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, right here in in Brentwood, uh, Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, saw yeah. this. <laughs> oh. Yes. I, I, I did. I wish I was there when you I saw revealed it. it. Yeah, so so Ooh. first I saw the bald head. Keep, keep it clean, by, uh, guys. By itself, keep it clean. And I was like, oh, that's my friend Tim. And so I, I, I went fogging in. up, just so we know. I'm fogging up my glasses. Keep going. And and he swims laps. Um after after a debacle. Oh, yeah. We don't have we the words, I mean Abby. We have a guest. We have a guest <laughs> producer yes. today named Abby. Yes. Abby's here from a surprise what, guest. what high school? Uh, Grace, Grace, Grace Christian, Christian. Go Hawks. And is that the Hawks? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what a good guess. What a good uh, Wait, wait, wait. Eagles, wait. Bald Eagles? I knew uh, it was with the Demons. Wait, what are Gideon. they? What are they? Get, the Lions. Lions. Oh, of course. We would have yeah, got yeah. there. Of we course. We Aslan's on the there. move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Abby is shadowing uh, what a professional <laughs> podcast looks like, and they weren't available. So last second, oh. she shows up here. So Abby, hello. Uh, um, no, she's she wants to know if she wants to study TV and film. And the first choice was Caitlin Rivera. Yeah, okay, who's, that's fair. Who's that's on fair. location in Chattanooga yeah. as yeah. we speak. Gold. So yeah. Gold. she's not available, so she had to settle for Edwin, Edwin. Rivera, <laughs> yeah, right. who yeah, yeah. the only thing he could offer was, was us. This. <laughs> The, the worst podcast this in America, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is this is how little Abby knows about what she's about to experience. She has a notebook open, yeah, yeah. and a pen handy, yeah. And it's like, well, Abby, and let, she, but she put her coat on. I'm like, maybe you're going to want to find a different church after yes. that. Yeah. <laughs> or a different career choice. All of those are options. You, you're young. You're young. <laughs> you have the whole but world ahead. Let me of paint you. the picture. I'm so okay, sorry. Okay, so have you ever, Abby? Have you ever been like to a national park? surrounded by immense beauty. So I'm walking by the <laughs> pool yes. at the rec center. And and I look over and there and I see this this bald head that is bald, bald eagle. I mean almost. Yep. Like it, like floating through Cascading. the water. Cascading. Mm. Cascading beautiful. Mm. I go in and I'm like, "Well, this is my friend Tim." Mm-hmm. And you know, you're immediately hit with the wonderful smells of urine and chlorine <laughs> um, as you walk in there because yes, everyone's swimming laps like, and, yes. they, and they just, you know, you they all pee in there. I mean, it's awful, Abby. <laughs> just don't ever do that. Um, but my friend Tim, yeah. who in a moment of vulnerability said, "Dude, 
I need to show you something. Yeah. Now, normally I resist <laughs> that, that invitation. When I say that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> normally, I've heard this before, and it never ends it well. It never ends well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But so this true. time I thought, we're in a public place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be that oh, bad. Be. So, yeah, yes. so I said, sure. And what he does. I can't even wear my glasses. I'm going to get the whole. I'm still hot from swimming. Okay, oh, keep going. He's still hot. Huh? Yeah, he's so hot. he swims to the opposite the opposite deck of yeah. where I'm at and, and pulls out, for YouTubers, the dozen of you on YouTube, he pulls out this contraption. It's still going to have a little water. Yep. Oh, yep. wow. Yep. It's, what the heck? Describe it's it. You sit circle. on it. You, um, yes. It looks like a toilet seat with wings. <laughs> with breathing holes. That's what they, they, It looks like a very Wait, narrow toilet please, seat with breathing please holes. Please put it on. You Guys, have to I will not put it on. It's called the um, yeah. power breather. And it's, yes. it's got the speed vent. And it's the easy, easy yep. S. Yes. So that means easy sport because it's when yeah. you're so, Can this you is please your put it on? I've never on. seen one of these in my no, life. No, no, no. And I, I need video. to know I have how video I told Mike. and photos. I said, Mike, please. you can photo this, but you can't yeah. put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't put it up on church. Yeah. But uh, this is not church. This is a, yeah, yeah, I like, have I can. Yeah. Like, Anyways, you guys, so, okay, so here's on, the deal. Come on. No, no, it, it goes like this. Yeah. No, it yeah. does not. If you've never seen our YouTube page, <laughs> this is the week. Yes. Because that's not how you wear it. How you wear it. Now, you wear it like a, it's got a little mouth guard right here. So everybody, yeah. it's, it's got two wings. At the bottom like, of the toilet. Like an eagle. At the bottom of the toilet seat. Yep, yep. And so, we go, we so wait, you up. put that in your mouth like yes. it's a mouth guard. So, yes. so yeah. literally, yes. all you see just picture this, Susie. All you see are two little blue antenna in the water. That's all you see. Okay, please put it on. How about you? Put I it on? need you and put the, it on. No, I'm not putting it on. You, you guys just on. shared glass glasses white, I so I think you're fine. Okay, you got immunity now. That's right. Yeah. Come on, no, 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 okay. The reason why I'm not going to put it on is because I know yeah. how long things last on the internet. Yes, that's fair. Oh, that's how fair. long? Do they so wait. I've seen so that you put movie. it in your mouth and it comes out like this way. Yeah, it's like a. It's a snorkel. It's if you get if yeah. everybody. That is not a snorkel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a snorkel. I dispute. It just has two yep. sides. Yeah, kind of yep. like a dual an exhaust. Eagle, like I've said this before. Yeah, dual like exhaust. wings. Yeah, dual exhaust. And when you swim, I get water in my ears. Yeah, and it he doesn't want to turn his head. I don't want to turn my head like no, that because no. then it gets he gets stuck. water in his ears. And I don't like that. And yeah. so oh, I can. He has a rounded chest. He does have little ears. He has little ears. Yeah, he does. He really does. Preez used to always say that. You do you wear your glasses ears. when you do, you're in the water they're, then, they're too? They're beautiful. I, do, I wear goggles. And oh, so, goggles. Are they prescription goggles? No. No. No, this just... So right, you you remember the movie Revenge of the Nerds? <laughs> <laughs> okay? So you could drop how Tim Timmons was looking in the pool in that final scene where they're like they're performing their nerd dance. Okay, but then you have to take it off like if you're going to do the backstroke. I don't do the backstroke. Oh. <laughs> and if I wanted to, it's very easy on and off. But I, so I reveal. Could you demonstrate how easy it is? This is, this is like, this is, I mean, yeah. it looks like a. No, it sits up. Susie, come what? here. Just try it. Just see. Come here. Come here. All right. So it sits like this, and you're just <laughs> swimming. <laughs> just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And then Sorry somebody if you're... comes along, like when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's literally wow. just like this. Yes. Wow. And, um, and, and then, and then you, he looks up, and there are goggles. And it just it it's like in yeah. a natural habitat, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Wow. It's like a bison. So in Montana. everybody, if but I see he, the toilet the thing, effect, the like, amount of people that are going to come to me and say, "Hey, that's so that was so funny," but yeah. where'd you buy that? That's yeah. what they're going to ask. I've yeah, yeah, yeah. never seen one of those. I know. And now power breather. Where yep. did Hello? you buy it? Yeah. S. Yeah. Where did you? I buy got it? it on the internet. Yeah. Because I was. Yeah. I love snorkeling in the ocean. Yeah. And oh scuba gosh. diving, and I thought, you know what? Yeah. I wonder if there's a way to Why do not this. use this okay, in my real local rec is, center? And you're going to feel great. So when I first found out about cancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There it is. There it is. Oh, wow. There it is. Oh, oh yeah. That's oh. like oh, of course. Yeah, always, so passive of course. aggressive. So he plays wow. that card. Yes. When it's I needed really the really power easy. breather S. Yes. That's yes. all it's I more like say. the power breather no, so, ass so, is what you okay. needed. I mean, this is going to be the longest intro we've ever had. What? Um, it, oh, are we so, recording so this? When I was, no, what? I'm just, it's $109. It is not. not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I could not make mine. real on time Amazon. shopping. Power we are now the shopping network. Adventure, no, $119 no, on not when Prime I got it. one I got it like eight years ago. Um, I've had it for a long time. Okay. When I when I first found out about cancer. Yeah. Good job, Susie. Really great family. Gave me this um, 
um, a membership to this really like nice high end men's club thing oh. that were like you know, that like the Newport what weird. was it called the Newport That's Athletic weird. Club or something yeah, like that yeah, oh like, yeah, yeah. like that stupid. kind of club he said men's club yeah men's club yeah yeah okay. that was not gentlemen's club different, men's different club. story different hey story. hey on stage Abby, hey, 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 yeah. oh my and God. so I went in there and I was like I don't like getting water in my ears and so I brought a yeah. snorkel and a mask oh. and literally I was like oh. <laughs> Just walking up in the uh, pool, and I would go in I with my little. It. I love Did it. you have flippers on too? Nope. Oh, no, no, no. that would have been no, awesome. No, Tim has great feet. Yeah, thank you. Great. Anyways, that's there's an Instagram. He has great account. feet. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. glasses are useless in that's the water. So, funny. so ladies and gentlemen, yeah, that was after I said so many inappropriate words on the pickleball court because um, it was my first time back in months, and I used my left hand, and right. I. Oh, you're Mike. Playing, Mike saw the demise of his friend in a few ways. How today. was serving left-handed? Louis, I don't want, I want to talk about it. Okay. But I literally they told him talk after a game, I said, I don't think I can do this anymore. Like, this is not, not good for, for my soul. My soul. Because <laughs> the amount the of words that came out in my heart were. Yeah. yeah. Half? Yeah. A lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I swam it off. I snorkeled it off. Yeah. Sue me. Yeah. Yep. With goggles and Here, that. They have this other one that has a full face. Yeah, we have those mask. too, Susie. We have <laughs> those too because we like the ocean. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of ocean in Tennessee. It's <sighs> oh, awesome. oh, okay. Anyways, but oh. Ephesians, much here's here's what we oh <laughs> speaking of <laughs> speaking of Ephesians <laughs> speaking of snorkeling. <laughs> let, You're I, let me just say that, this. That let me just say transition. this. Tim, no, Tim Tim's Tim Tim's as as a theory calls him. Yeah, Kevin Dixon. And he he pronounces that very carefully. Susan P. Lind, all one word, and then Tim Tims. Tim Tims. Yeah. Because Tim Timmons is just too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Tim Tims. Yeah. So my friend Tim Tims went out on the pickleball court today. Now, Gosh, now, so where, where are we at? We're at 12 we minutes. Go. Can't keep going. Here we go. No, just timestamp. That's what yeah. timestamps are for. Yeah, yeah. So timestamp this Tim's pickleball <laughs> meltdown. Yes. <laughs> Tim, so Tim and I, we had we had burned up the local uh, seniors pickleball sure. circuit. Yeah. Yes, uh, for a while, but then Tim yeah. um, got, he got tendonitis, whatever pick tennis elbow, elbow, pickleball elbow. Yeah, yeah, that's what I call it. Pelbo. Pelbo. And um, and so he's just been. It's been three, four months, five months yes. now. Way too long. Way too long. And so he made an appearance. He was like, "I'm not going to play," but then it, the call it just called. Yeah. yeah. And so we got out, and yeah. we're like. Let's I go. dumped a good partner. Yeah, he did. And you I'm did. like, you dumped a good partner. I dumped a great partner. Know, Bob, I'm like, Bob's dude, good. I will give anything to play with Tim Timmons right now, knowing he's going to have to play left handed. Yeah. yeah. And Tim, when we play, Tim switches hands. Like he's great with his yeah. left hand. So yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, this how, is going to be great. How yeah. bad could it be? Yeah. No. And it was actually great it was yeah. until great. I said the following. And this was when this was when you know this is when Tim plays the like oh yeah this I got this for cancer card uh -huh. but uh -huh. this is a similar is this when you so asked I said if, nope this nope when you asked him I to said take off I, the snorkel he nope oh. he was this is prior this is pre snorkel oh pre -snorkel. The snorkel oh. was the way he hand the dealt yeah, yeah. with the mouth yeah, yeah. oh okay it's okay. my therapy but but so he, he you know and I'm I'm just uh, he's he he is such a good pickleball player. So he goes out and it's like learning how to walk again, right? Mm. You're stepping differently mm. in the whole thing. And obviously so frustrating. Um, and there, But there was one, there were a couple of really good points that we we had. And I'm like, bro, hang on. We got this. You're getting, you got this. And he's like, dude, that was my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> and and then it was, okay, we're uh, done here. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, done here. Yeah. And so uh, poor Tim had to swim it off. Did it hurt when I you used your right hand? I said words that sounded like forgiveness Many times. Many does, it, times. does it really hurt that much still? Yeah, my right hand hurts. Arm. Yeah. We're yeah. Doing great. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. And yes, before you email in all your suggestions, yes. he's iced I'm, it. He's done I'm your needles. He's, <laughs> he's, Dry needles. I've needled. Yeah, he's done Susie Voodoo. He's Have taken you, supplements. I've put, yeah. Icy hot on it. Yeah. You've done the stretches. You've done the PT. There's nothing. There's nothing for it except time. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And, and, Can you get a and transplant? Snorkeling. But time is going to fix it? I don't know, Susie. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Okay. <laughs> so speaking. Speaking of Ephesians. Yes. <laughs> speaking of Ephesians. Yes. Or as Seth Theory calls it, Ephesians. Yes. yes. Which is perfect. It's Ephesians. Ephesians. I like does that. He really? Does it? He does. It took it. We had to practice that a lot. Ephesians. The De book of Ephesians. Yeah. Ephesians. He was like, nope, it's Ephesians. Yeah, yeah. Ephesians. Uh. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, um, we started a new series called The Offspring, and we did an overview, and it Time was stamp, great. But we got, we got some really good questions. I know that you two wanted to jump mm -hmm. in on. 
So why don't we, um, and you can, there's no need to summarize the thing. We just did an overview of the book. But uh, there were a couple of really <laughs> good we questions that you. Pickleball. You must not keep them separated. That's the theme of the book. That was the theme. Exactly. Keep them separated is the powers. Mm -hmm. Bringing them together. That's it. And Susie, yeah. God bless Susie Lynn. Bringing what together? Uh, bringing us the human right. community together away right. from all of our tribal lines. But Susie Lynn has next to me P. has has carried the banner of punk rock wow. band names. And I'm I'm just so proud of you. Um, and I just want to shout out, I want to shout out Susie because we've done now Bad Religion, mm -hmm. Social right. Distortion, Misfits, and now Offspring. That's right. And um, those are band, Abby. Bands. Those were band names. Christian bands. Okay. No, they were classic rock, if you will. Oh, that? Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> You're not going to find yeah, them in yeah. KLOS. No, gonna, no, it's, it's punk. I think it's actually punk. now it's. Maybe. Well, how how sad is that? <laughs> Very. Because um, when I think classic rock, I think of Doobie Brothers. Right. And my that's black like, and white television that's friend oldies. over here. That's oldies. Councils. Yeah. Oh, that's oldies now. <laughs> councils. Yeah. Playing hey. on the councils. Hey, could you get that TV council over here? Yeah. That was fantastic. All right. So anyway, the question you and Susie wanted to jump on it was... It had a radio in it. It had a record player in yes. it. Yeah, it was, a, it was a... Yeah, it was a singular... It no, was like no. an entertainment center. Yes, mm. before they called them yes. entertainment Yeah, centers. it was a council. Yeah. Of course. Right. Sorry, Abby. Go ahead. We so digress. the questions. Well, I got one from uh, one of our staff members to my direct text line that I thought was good. Oh, well, what, what's the one you wanted to jump on? The one we read yesterday. I, I oh. wanted to jump on that one. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I want to go ahead. Too. No, I can, I can do this one later if we have time. Okay. Well, there were a couple that came in from two different texts, and they were essentially asking something similar. Um, so I'll just read. I'll read one of them. Abby, notice, notice, like now it's serious. Yeah, like, that's, that's the Bible's 17. here. The Bible's okay. Bible's here. Bible's here. Um. Unity on a community level in the capital C church is fundamentally important. But I've heard the conversation about quote unquote unity used by pastors and churches as a defense when they get called out for flawed behavior or theology or leadership structure or anything perceived as negative. In that sort of landscape, how do we remain unified while keeping the church pure? Yeah, that was the one yeah. you said and yeah. you said. And there was another one that, that. that was similar. Like, um, I keep thinking of the Fighting to Unite monument as a way the Big C Church misconstrues the text to justify protecting bad actors and harming the community because the collective system should be protected at all costs. Can you wax theological on that? Yeah, on. I can wax on or wax can off. You, can wax somebody off. give an example of what that could look like? Yes. Pastor, lead pastor gets caught doing something he probably shouldn't be doing. This is hypothetical, Abby. This <laughs> never happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's might, never. he or she might yeah, right. be oh, there accused we go. Oh. of some things behind the scenes. The and in order to Here preemptively, you know, prepare for fallout, does a sermon on unity and how... Yeah. You know, we all have to stick together and We're all there's all these people that are trying to tear us apart yeah. and mm -hmm. it's all spiritual warfare and evil from the outside and, you know, that kind okay. of stuff. Did yeah. I get okay. it right? Yeah. Yeah. Wax on. Or even like, or even not necessarily within a church, but like, you know, a ministry. in the wonderful world of social media that we live in now, like someone, you know, something's been discovered about someone and then other people say well you shouldn't be talking about that publicly because we have to maintain a united front and that yeah, got, thing, it, got right? it got it yeah protecting people means yeah i think that's what they're asking in the name, right in the name of unity yeah, yeah. and uh i it, my first response to somebody is just go ahead and read the letters to the churches just read the letters to the churches. Particularly the ones at the end of the books. In 1 Corinthians, <laughs> read 2 read just Revelation. Uh, yeah, that one too. But <laughs> I mean, the, the idea behind the letters is to correct what's wrong within the church. Mm -hmm. and, and there's some moments in there where you go, well, there's some really screwed up stuff going on in the church. And he clearly, usually Paul, says something to the effect of, stop it. Right. Uh, don't do that anymore, or don't be a part of this. 
there's a there's a um unity is broken by unrepentant sin and mm -hmm. a lot of times what we protect is unrepentant sin yeah that's like i think that's the that's the key yeah yeah and unity is not dishonesty right and it's, it's not at all costs right. being dishonest or you right know, or manipulating people right. into following somebody who is not worth following mm -hmm. and and there's a a lot of that that happens within the church in the name of unity um also uh power has a way of manipulating those situations and personalities and power have a way of of no oh, I, I can't use that word uh overriding um people's intentions mm -hmm. and also a good leadership structure so but I think too, if you read those letters closely, you see that what Paul is is telling the churches is that you should be telling the truth about yourselves and each other mm -hmm. and and repenting from those sins yeah. because that in fact is what's going to restore restore and deepen your unity. That's right. Is by being able to reconcile after those things are mm -hmm. honestly dealt with. Yeah. And I think that's the part that we're not we're not seeing that publicly. And I'm sure that there are some churches and some communities that are doing that well, but we don't see those things publicly. We only see right. the sordid falls yeah. publicly. Right. right? And, yeah. And I think what we, what Mike has been speaking on and we've been trying to speak to for the last, I don't know, I would say for quite a while, two years, is that the, the idea of a leader who's above it or outside of it. Mm-hmm. Um, meaning the community and not equalized by the community, but separate from the community in such a way that they have a special set of rules that apply yeah. to them is counter to the gospel. Yeah. It's counter to what church culture is supposed to be. It's counter to what Jesus even talks about in terms of, well, you used a pyramid structure where the pyramid is actually in, inverted, um, where they, they want to keep putting the, the triangle or the pyramid in such a way that they land on top mm -hmm. and, and the church serves them rather than them serve the church. Yeah. And it perverts, it perverts the idea of the gospel being that we're all equal. And, and I think that's the theological problem with manipulating people into thinking that unity ignores sin, ignores mm -hmm. um, failure, ignores the idea that somebody didn't uphold their end of the um, yeah. deal in such a way that they not only didn't uphold it, but they will call on you to dismiss and not and pretend they didn't see your sin, mm -hmm. um, which again perverts the gospel, theologically speaking. So, what was the question? <laughs> I mean, that was just best background. So, what, like, what what are these people asking? Um, they're not asking why <clears throat> they didn't ask why I think they asked how did you lose it how do we remain unified while keeping the church pure I don't know if it's our job to keep the church pure as much as it is to keep it honest hmm. and vulnerable and yeah that 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 can be really uh dangerous Which that one? statement keeping what? it honest yeah because then i mean it's kind of like we were talking about mike there just when it's like here we're about to do something beautiful then things could get twisted so quick and keeping it honest Versus me just being honest with what I've got and in. Mm -hmm. Right. Because that, that has also been used and bastardized. Well, and incredibly. same with this other yeah. question where it says keeping the collective system should be protected at all costs. I don't think that's what Ephesians is saying. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's not saying that the. No. no yeah. I'm not at Mike's all. Mike's shaking his head this way. Yeah. <laughs> Helpful on a, on a podcast. No. I mean, I think you guys are nailing it. It's the, the, the idea that somehow our witness mm -hmm. means that we're never honest and, and public about the sin of the community is, I mean, that's a bastardized version of yeah. um, what it is because the, the best witness is in repair. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and repentance. For sure. So for sure. It, it, it's hypocritical to a community of people who are coming and bringing their authentic self to that community to have the leader not be authentic. We're talking about a lot about leaders. Well, that's the, that's oftentimes the question, Yeah, but yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, I'm just, this is great for a bunch of pastors, but like, what about what, what, how does this relate to the whole community? I mean, leadership has, has been, Mm -hmm have been the ones who have kind of been pushing. Well, that's the ones you cover up. Those are the ones you hide. Those are the ones that you try to protect for the sake of the unit. Or the money givers yeah. or anybody right. that we deem more Influence. Important. Yeah. It, again, it's, it's the same idea of inverting that idea of equal. We're all equal. It doesn't matter if you give a million dollars or two dollars. It doesn't matter if you're a, but I think a even pastor like- or a whatever yeah and i think like to answer your question i think like when if, i mean we can talk about our own selves here and for a moment like if we talk about we we often say everyone is welcome at the table right and so when we say everyone is welcome at the table sometimes when we welcome certain people to the table other people at the table get offended by that and so that could potentially disrupt the unity at the table and you know, people can make up stories about what we're about and what we're not about. But if we address those things and we're clear about those things and we're honest about those things and and why we welcome everyone at the table and how we all have something that we bring to the table, good and bad, but we're we're putting it all on the table, we're not afraid of what comes to the table, then that also, I think, contributes to the unity in the body. But if we ignore the things or we talk like this end of the table talks poorly about this end of the table because they don't agree, then and there's not like an actual face to face honesty happening in those relationships. I mean, I think that's where you see it broken down community wide. You know, we've had that experience before where people have come to us and said, you know, I don't know what you mean by that. And do you let these sort of people in as well when you say that and we say yes and then they want to know how we treat those people differently than other people and we say we don't and that's offensive to people but we're I'm trying on to all be, ends of the spectrum on that yeah because they want us to treat them differently yeah so does that help yeah 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 um how if this book so far has an invitation to our community diffusions if if Ephesians <laughs> okay. so far has an invitation to our community, what would it be? Like even just as a reminder or, hey guys, remember, hey Journey Church, mm-hmm. remember this. What do we think it might be? Michael? Well, I think that gets into the question that you got texted. Yeah. So why don't you transition to that one? Oh, okay. about that transition. Well, no, no, I mean, that, that was literally who showed me the question you got texted. I forgot the number for questions, uh, so I texted your personal line. <laughs> what does living in this new humanity now and not yet look like practically for us? Mm. I'll, I'll write it, say it again, not write it again. Forgot the number of, no. Uh, <laughs> what does living in this new humanity now and not yet look like practically for us? Mm. This new humanity. That was the, that was the, when you said that the book is about how we can be fully human, like mm-hmm. really be human, mm-hmm. I was like, that's the, to me, that was the implication. The implication was, uh, we kind of live like humans, but we're, we, we got it messed up. And so this is an invitation into actually living out what it really means to be human. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, it, it comes back to what we've talked about before. And I just said it on, on Sunday, Mike, just mm-hmm. the definition of human is the thing that's out there and so ambiguous. Totally. Everybody's making up their own definition of human. Yeah. I mean, there's so, I mean, what's the song I sang on Sunday? The, um, the old, uh, rugged I'm crust. Only, we're only human. Oh yeah. yeah. Born to make yeah, mistakes. Yeah. You know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's our concept human of league. human. Like, or somebody, somebody makes some that mistake. That was the first cassette I ever bought with my own money. No. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sorry. Rick Go on. Um, <laughs> but th- that, that is a definition of human. So when we say a new way to be human, it's like, okay, so that means that I'm a new, I'm a human who can make mistakes and that's good. Like I'm loved by God and I can make mistakes. Yeah. Is that what human is biblically? And you said, 
you've pushed against that in the past. The, you did. The human, the definition of human, biblical human, humanity is the Imago Dei. It's the mm -hmm. image bearing of God. Yeah. Not the born to make mistakes. Born to make mistakes side. Totally. So I just think it's it's a little ambiguous for us to talk about being new humans or being human mm -hmm. and like God, that's God's yeah. oh, very, it, it's very ambiguous. Yes. W without understanding what, what do we mean? Like what are the two words? There's human. And then what's the other word for born to make mistakes? I just have a quick question for Susie before we press on. Was that a cassette tape or an eight track tape? Cassette. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. Going. Okay. It, you couldn't put it in a, I'm not uh, old a council. Enough for eight yeah. Tracks. yeah. The councils <laughs> didn't take that. Yeah, they did. Ours no. had an eight track tape player in it. No, no, tapes. Uh, yeah. And I let my cousin borrow it and his Toyota Celica oh. got stolen with my cassette tape in it. Oh, my oh. gosh. Did insurance so, cover that? No. And oh, he was really upset man. about his Toyota being stolen. And the first thing I asked was, <laughs> yeah. is my, was my was tape, tape in there? In there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did they recover any of the tapes? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Yep. It wasn't recovered. Oh, oh. Susie. So they, that person was born to make mistakes. So what, yeah, do, we, I mean, what do we call that? I mean... <laughs> Born to be wild. Yeah. We, yeah. I mean, we got a quite a few we can go on on that one. Yeah, it's interesting. Paul uses old self, new self. Right. Or flesh versus spirit. Uh -huh. um, yeah, when we mean human, we mean the way Jesus was human, imaging the imaging the Father into the human community and the, the <laughs> creational community. Yeah. Bless, Bless you. you. Wow. Talk about the Abby, other... that's Sorry, never Abby, that acceptable. Gross. <laughs> that was at. Uh... You never want to hear from the producer, okay? You just <laughs> write that down. Yeah. yeah. Well, timestamp that. Unless, Edwin, unless Edwin's stuff on your massive shirt, you hurricane your force. <laughs> and it was it was so oh, intense. Tim here, almost snorkeled. Here, hold on. Use this like, snorkel. Use this like there's there's a lot of again. phlegm yeah, floating yeah, yeah. around here. Yeah, yeah. I think it's on your knee. The power yeah. breather. Oh, uh, there. No. Uh, my bad. But when you talk about the other side of that, you you we normally say dehumanizing, right? Exactly. Like when we're yeah, the other, so idolatry the is other dehumanizing version of that is, yeah, dehumanizing. Or, or, yeah, exactly right, mm -hmm. exactly right. So when we say restore humanity, that we're just quoting Paul's words to, to talk about we were dead in our sins and trespasses and enslaved to the powers, and now we're alive. And what does alive mean? Well, I mean, he spends mm -hmm. three chapters on the, on the back end of the letter talking very specifically about what the new humanity looks like. And the, and the example he's using, of course, is the put off, and put on, you know, it's put like off the old self, put yeah. on the new self, yeah. But the, the 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 better maybe translation there is the old humanity versus the new. Hmm. But in terms of the how, the thing that comes to mind for me is like is that term, you know, becoming a confessional community, where like yeah. you confessing is a normal part of the way new of humanity, being, you know, part like, of the new humanity. I not only confess my sins one to another, mm -hmm. but and to God, but I'm also like confessing who I am. I'm showing up as who I am mm -hmm. because when I show up as who I am and you show up as who you are and we don't hide from each other, then we are able to be in the kind of relationships with one another where we are refining each other and we are, you know, becoming that together. So. I think this is the hard part of the whole book. I think that's the hard part for all of us when we read it is to contextualize it in, in the context of a group of people rather than as individuals. Mm -hmm. we're, we're invited into new humanity. doesn't just mean I get to be a new human. It means right. I get to join this new group of people that are trying to do it together um, with all its frailties, which she just described very adequately is, is that all of us bring some broken piece along with the, the new humanity. Mm -hmm. So grace abounds. For that, we're grateful. Very, what else? Very, very. Um, I don't know. What else you want to talk about? Ephesians is... Uh, I, it, what are you looking most forward to in this series? Um, Mike? I don't know. I don't know if there's the most forward. I just love... I love that we're we're spending some time soaking in Paul's thought. One of the things that's really interesting about Ephesians is that almost all the rest of Paul's letters are occasional, and they're 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 people mentioned by name where he's addressing pastoral issues. Ephesians is the closest we get 
to Paul's view of what the gospel is. Mm. Even Romans, people present Romans as this is some theological letter, and it's not. Mm. It's it, it's theological in the sense that it's dr- addressing really significant pastoral concerns. Yes. But it's not just, hey, let me write down a theology of salvation. This is the mm. closest we get to Paul's just, hey, here's the gospel and what it means. Mm. Which, because um, he doesn't mention any people by name, even though he lived in Ephesus two years. And Tychus, or at the <clears throat> end, doesn't he mention... I'm sending you Tychus. Well, that's to a region. So, okay. so what I was what I was going to say is at the very, um, he should mention. I mean, when you compare the one mention to the amount, yeah, the yeah, twenty yeah. something yeah, 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 in, yeah. in Romans, but even the words uh, Paul to the Ephesians, like in our earliest manuscripts, to the Ephesians isn't in there. So it mm. it's it was just a letter that was meant to be passed around differently than some of the pastoral issues mm. that Paul's addressing. And so because of that, we get a sense of what Paul's overall theology would be like if he were just writing a a book. Here's what it means to be in Christ. Mm. And and it's that sort of thing rather than addressing a whole bunch of pastoral issues with theology in the background. So mm, I think yeah. that makes it a really unique book. Yeah. There was another really good question. Can I ask it? Sure. Um, Mike, one of the best things about this last Sunday was the art that you provided. Mm. I mean, those drawings were spectacular. Mm. Positive groans. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Diffusions. End it there. I I just want to say I was I was (laughs) I was with some people last night. And with? You were with? I was with some oh, people Oh, so with last people night. last night. And there was conversation over the art, the art being wow. the best part. Wow. And Lord. how it made things so clear. Wow. And how much? It's just, it, it's terrible. The art is terrible, but it's so helpful. Wow. Is oh, what it was wow. said. It's kind of a back, so, back so, You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that is. Totally. Yeah, yeah. I get it that. was so oh, bad. I would argue, Somehow we felt better about ourselves. I feel like that backhanded compliment people, if I ever heard But one. I would argue yeah. some people probably thought Picasso's art was terrible. Yep. But I heard helpful. that. Yeah. I heard you somebody know? say that. So it was but he good. died, right? It was effective. Terrible, but helpful. It was yeah. effective. Perfect. Yes. It was effective. So what's the question? The question is, it How did seems he learn to do like that? the Jesus Bridge, <laughs> which you drew oh, so the beautifully. Jesus bridge. Mm, actually, it's The Jesus Bridge in the old track that we all received. Well, maybe we didn't all, but... A lot of us received. I know it well. Yeah. It seems like the Jesus Bridge maybe did some damage to how I formed expectations for my church community. How do I Mm. begin to heal what the bridge kind of cemented in my brain as a solo journey to Mars? Yeah. In parentheses, Jesus. Yeah. Wow. That's a really great question. Mm -hmm. I'd love to ask more questions about that. Well, that's so funny because I totally did on the text line. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, what does it look like to be healed from all of that? Mm. You know? And Did they respond? No. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't either. That felt really condemning. I mean, I wasn't. I was just wanting to know, you know? (laughs) Susie has a rusty text face. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Just puts, I've oh, never heard that. I love that. <laughs> okay, period. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, I did something yeah. horrible. <laughs> period. You know? Am I right, it's Abby? If you put punctuation yeah. on there, it's like someone's angry. Yeah. Yes, Abby is agreeing Aggressive with Aggressive is, I think, the yeah, word yeah. that, that, is, that was that used. Okay, <laughs> period. It's like, so oh, I'm So I got to stop sorry. using Well, you just use your unicorn. Okay, okay. Just, okay so what does it look like to be healed? How do you heal from, oops, sorry, from the bridge? It's okay. The mic's fine. Is that you, or was it the mic? No, okay. it was the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, if you missed it, Susie, Susie jammed her elbow on what exactly? The microphone. Know. I don't okay, know. It's on okay. the microphone. That was my. Face. Edwin can edit that out. <laughs> no, I thought it was the snorkel. No, no. Oh, that's oh, funny. That's oh. funny. <laughs> wow, way to witness. Let's keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's identify. How do you guys think the bridge illustration was? How I knew it. But what, what's deficient yeah. about that? That was such a great question was really to ask question. everybody to jump into with the lack of community in that picture. It's very individualistic, mm-hmm. yes. There's yep. nothing about now. It's just now it's just the crossing, mm-hmm. but it's a quick crossing. It's not like you're not seeing the journey of the crossing. Totally. Yeah. Having to get over that hump in the middle. There's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of responsibility on the person, too. Mm. You know, like Jesus provided the bridge, but I still got to walk across it. Mm hmm. Even if I get hmm. thrown off of it, it's just. I gotta yeah. get back on and walk across <laughs> it. 
I still feel like there is responsibility. Yeah. What 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 would but what's the bad the responsibility? But without other people there, it's like it doesn't capture participation. It doesn't. Yeah, and it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. capture Great. partnership yep. and yeah. totally. community I love that. and yep. my yep. part in community and. So the healing that they're speaking of is the healing that sees a role for an indispensable role for the community, correct? Yeah, I mean, the healing is like what's been cemented in their brain is a solo journey. Yeah. You know, that it is really about me and my relationship with God and my individual sin and repentance and all of that. Yeah. Which that's a part of it, you said, but not, it's not complete. Right. I, I think the biggest hurdle is the destination. Um isn't just some place ethereal place that we can that i get to go to when i die i think that's probably the biggest adjustment i had to make in what the gospel was is that actually the destination is with you guys yeah which is a little bit of heaven aww (laughs) i got i got real here try this on yeah yeah. all right (laughs) yeah totally yeah that's the that's the hardest adjustment because you guys aren't perfect. I'm not perfect, and mm-hmm. so all the flawedness of of this world still is part of heaven. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I got I got that picture. I got the cross picture, the chasm, and the jumping over because of the cross. And then I also got the other side. It just as I look back on it, they didn't they didn't actually mesh. Mm-mm. Like I got the you know being led by the spirit you know you hear all that stuff but it was like when you put these two together yeah it's such an incomplete picture but i I feel like in my growing up there was a lot of you know being led by the spirit walking in step with the spirit um there was some communal stuff i think that's the biggest piece that i in in my Mm -hmm. heritage missed was the communal piece of it right um but even just looking at what jesus did for us and then the other side of um, walking with the spirit, I got both of those. They just didn't connect well with that, that with that idea. Right. And the fact that that's what most people have been told on the streets is that they've been shown that versus the bigger picture. And I think Mike, you had talked about Ephesians is uh, Ephesians is the, <laughs> is a monument uh, for to God for what the church, what his people would look like and be that they'd be beautiful in like, the new right? humanity. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you say that? I think Paul says it's the, the existence of the new humanity stands as a, stands as as a, a triumph yeah. over the powers. Yes. In, the, in their unity um, that the cross purchased. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a, for me, um, the things that changed were why follow Jesus, and it wasn't to avoid hell. Um. And then, and then what's the role? Like so much of sin in the New Testament is communal. It's not just me mm-hmm. yeah. individually deciding between an angel and a demon about mm-hmm. this moral choice. Mm-hmm. It's division, gossip, slander. It's, it, they're all almost all communal sins, yeah. which means restoration then is communal too. Mm. So would you say to this person, if they were sitting here and asking, how do I heal? Would you say a good first step would be to ask and kind of think about what, why you follow Jesus? That if that's if that's part of what they need healed from, for sure. I, I couldn't tell from the question what mm-hmm. the particular I, the way I heard it was. How do I learn to journey together with other people mm-hmm. and find healing there? Okay, and that's where the table, the stuff like the table, mm-hmm. um, or even you know the debate between watching church online versus coming in person yeah. mm-hmm. that's where that really cashes out it's like no there's something about the 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 embodied in fleshed incarnated community mm-hmm. that that yeah. only that can do the work mm-hmm. yeah yeah it, it to me it seems like intentional communal stuff yeah like t- i i i love that we talk about tables but i really feel like we need to keep pushing that tables are not just once a month like right. if our tables are once a month then we're hosed as a community I really believe that. Like what mm-hmm. or like, really that's that's all we're doing is just once a month we are yeah. tabling. Like we tabling yeah. should well, be this ongoing like as our community you know, pattern of life. It's a pattern of life yeah. together. And I think that's where the healing is gonna come from. It it's happening in me. I mean, today Mike witnessed not just my gorgeous snorkeling, but me having a total meltdown of like 
a, a, a crisis of faith today <laughs> in on the pickleball court. But like, there's a beauty in Mike seeing that part of me. Sure. Um, yeah. That is a, a piece of our table was on the totally. pickleball court today. Because you've received me in those ways too. Yeah. I mean, that's and that's like the, the, there's a part. there's a beauty in that. So I, I I'm getting a little maybe a little too Emotion. far up about that Emotion. but I, I think it's pretty important because we keep talking about the table is like no, no, this is where it happens here. and it just if we if Journey Church is just a place where we just have a table once a month I think we're Tell totally me what that looks like for you. failing so so you have a table you usually host a table every month yep. and that's so turned into so good what uh, for you walks walks with people or um, lunches with people and people have come to me and asked me, and sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. But it's like those mm-hmm. those types of things when people have the guts enough to. But your walks lean in. with people are those things, or or talking yeah, it, with people. It's and just being, intentional conversations yeah. about doing life together, mm-hmm. and we're mm-hmm. just choosing to do life with this community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, when we have friends on the outside of this, but we're really trying to like intentionally be in with a group of people here. And if our people would do that more, I think we just it's like. Gosh, that gets that gets me excited. If we're just right. table people once a month, yeah. I think we're kind of wasting our time. We're mm-hmm. doing church, honestly, because it's just another form of like yeah. Sunday morning, and I just I think we're wasting our time. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. I push back a little that'll hard on wrap, that because okay. that'll wrap. Mm-hmm. Wait, before we wrap, there was one controversy we just have to have to settle. Yeah, Abby, for the Console. people. No, oh. no, we already know the answer to that. Yeah. Uh, at my class, the the most important part of a puzzle came up. And oh. there was quite a disagreement with oh the box top with the box the top yep. So I'm just voting and then we're out. Where are you? Where are you, Edwin, on this? Box, box the, top. The or box edges? top or the edges? edges? Edges. Most important part of a puzzle. What do you think, girl? Edges. Ooh, got edges. Losing, man. Where are you at? The truth doesn't win or lose. The truth just is. <laughs> wow. So it's the box top. <laughs> wow. I would have said edges, oh, okay. but I think box top is probably. But oh. do you know that there are some people Conformity. who refuse to look at peer the box pressure top because they want to put themselves through that hell of putting together a puzzle without seeing I think the that's box fun. top? I get that. Huh. If it's like a ten piece, then I'm in. Yeah. No, I it, mean yeah. I know the someone Chick-fil-A who puzzles. doesn't. Oh look. man, but it's, the kids yeah. it's anything over twenty. You mean pieces? there's more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more pieces than ten yeah, piece yeah, yeah. puzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, on that note, snorkel on you guys. Go puzzle. Power breather. <laughs> Abby, Sphincter I hope, 5. I S. hope we've talked you out of everything. Speed vent. Thanks for listening to this episode of Journey Now. If for some bizarre reason you liked it, help us spread the word by leaving a review and sharing it on your socials. Journey Now is a production of Journey Church in Brentwood, Tennessee. Edwin Rivera III produces the show and fixes all the guests slurping, gum chewing, coughing, and other annoying sounds. Randy Hansen provides technical assistance even though he denies it. Grant Opperman edits Journey Now and intervenes when necessary to tell the crew that you can't say that. Special shout out to dear listener Brad Erie and dear YouTube watcher Seth Erie. If there's anyone else who makes it through each week, we're so sorry. And thanks to you too.